Uh, hello, good day everyone. In today's tutorial, I am only going to summarize some of the compound fractions we have dissolved into partial fractions so far. Though they are not the only compound fractions, but I believe they are the frequent X ones. So if you are new here, consider subscribing, press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content. So now let me highlight some of them for you. You can see the first one is when we have a function to the top or a constant divided by linear factors. Um, you know a linear factor is going to contain a constant as its numerator because a numerator is always one degree less than the denominator. This is why we have a over the first factor plus b over the second factor where a and b are constants. If we have another factor here, we are going to take that another constant divided by that factor. And sometimes we may have a function to the top or a constant divided by a quadratic factor. I just attached this one, but our main target is on this. When we have a quadratic factor, first of all, we have to try as much as we can to factorize it. If it cannot be factorized, this is the general form. You know, uh, the highest degree here is 2. Definitely, the numerator is going to be of degree 1 less than the denominator. And hence, we have a linear polynomial to the top divided by that quadratic factor. But if it can be factorized, we are going to split the factors into 2 all having a uh, constant as their corresponding numerators. And you can see this is a constant divided by the other linear factor. Sometimes we may have a compound fraction in this form where we have a function or a constant to the top divided by linear repeated factor. It is repeated because it is multiplied n times. So in that case, we have a constant to the top divided by that function to the first power another plus, another constant to the top, divide by that function to the second power, plus another constant, plus that function to the third power. You keep adding after the last term, which is a constant, divide by that function to the nth power. And sometimes we may have a compound fraction in this form, where we have function to the top, or a constant, divide by difference of two squares. Despite it is quadratic function, it can be factorized. Suppose it is an irreducible quadratic factor, we are going to treat it in this form. But since it can be factorized as x minus a multiplied by x plus a, we are going to split it into this form where we have a, a constant to the top divided by one of the factor plus another constant b divided by the second factor. And the last one which I want to display for today is when we have the degree of the top greater or equal to the degree of the bottom. You can see here we have a function to the power of n plus c, where c is any constant. Definitely is going to be greater than this denominator, or sometimes they may appear to be the same. In that case, we have to carry out long division. After carrying out long division, we take the quotient, we add it to remainder divided by the factor we have. And, and this is what we have to split into partial fraction applying these principles. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching and do have a nice day.